significant ground deformation at Campi Flegrei. And guys, that is not the only new data that the new bulletin shows us that the INGV has just released. And all the measurements and details, they only know one way, and that is up. And that is up significantly and drastically. So from this understanding and from what we're seeing there, I really question that still some authorities and even some scientists are still trying to put the lid on this, or well, lid on that super volcano, no, put the lid on really letting people know that this is dangerous because this thing is creeping towards an eruption. Of course, we don't know when, but if you hear what I'm about to tell you, the parameters, it's mind blowing. I always say groundbreaking, but you know, let's not hope that the ground will break at the Campi Flegri super volcano in Naples with more than 6 million people in the direct proximity. One of the most, if not the most densely populated volcano on earth. If we look at that new report at the bulletin and if we look at all the graphs that we can see there, we can see that all the data, geophysical measurements and geochemical measurements and parameters are trending sharply, sharply upwards. And this is especially true for CO2 emissions. This is the bulletin for August. So the CO2 emissions have reached a level of a buff 5,000 tons per day in August. And we know in September, we had that massive earthquake swarm at Campi Flegri, the highest earthquake, another 4.0. All that stuff is not even incorporated in that August bulletin. The H2S CO2 ratio has reached an alarming level at the beginning of the month. And what does that tell you? That is indicating that magma was accumulating underneath Campi Flegri and is probably accumulating. And that is the interpretation of the INGV volcanologists. That is not, this is not my speculation. So the INGV volcanologists speculate or suggest magma is accumulating at depth between six and eight kilometers, roughly four miles, four to five miles. And then the news today that the INGV and the Vesuvius Observatory together, they have detected deformative variations in conjunction with the seismic swarm that we just saw between August 31st, they say September 1st, but it's still ongoing. We still have earthquakes. So the changes were detected by two monitoring stations that they have in place at Campi Flegri. Uh, the Aeronautical Academy station that is in the graph, it's called ACAE and the Mount Obliano Station ISPT, it's, it's the short version. So most of the tremors from the last big swarm were located in this area. So what has happened there? What have these measuring stations detected? And here it comes, guys. The Academy Station has moved. It has moved 2.9 centimeters to the southwest and it has recorded a dr ground drop of 2.5 centimeters. And the station at Mount Obliano has moved horizontally to the southwest by 1.1 centimeters. And vertically, it decreased by one centimeter. We already have a deformative trend in that area. The INGV and the Vesuvius Observatory are not giving us their opinion yet as to what they think has caused this and what we could draw from this, from these variations that are there. But they're saying that during past earthquake swarms, they have recorded somewhat similar events. But here comes the but. But at the past events, they had much lower values. 
So what could have happened now that this is so significant? We can only guess at the moment, unfortunately. Monte Obliano is part of the Campi Flegri caldera. It's a widespread caldera. The land rise there is also present, but it's a little bit of a phenomenon that the land at Monte Obliano is rising slower than in the other areas underneath Pozzuoli and the Solfatara area. The variations that were recorded in the current earthquake swarm, what could they reflect? They could reflect some migration of fluids. Fluids are going from one area to the other area. That's why we have a movement of these stations. So either a release or a migration of fluids and gases. Both is possible. Or even a change in the inside plumbing system of the volcanic system or new fractures in the caprock layer or in the layers underneath. Because if there's fractures, then the hydrothermal fluids can get into there and they're moving. They find new spaces because they're under pressure. This thing is under pressure. And of course, these fluids are moving under pressure if they find another area to, to get away from the pressure, basically. So if there are more fractures underneath, of course we have a greater release of fluids and gases. And But that is nothing that we can say, ah, that's what it is. If we have more fractures, we all know what that means. If the lid on your pressure cooker has more and more fractures, boof, that's what's going to happen, right? So Monte Obliano basically lies between the Solfatara crater and the coast. And it's also the site of this former Italian Air Force Academy. Oh, great idea to build this academy on a volcano. Um, it's an ancient lava dome, guys. And you can imagine that even small changes are raising the fear of the residents in this area. And maybe you have seen my recent poll. I'm always trying to now send out polls for you and then put them at the end of the videos, but I'll show you this poll again. Should we do something? Should they start the evacuation? Because many scientists are asking for that. So now people heard that the ground shifted by almost 25 millimeters. That must have led to quite, I don't want to say unrest, but fear this is probably the right word. And the number of earthquakes that they report in this bulletin for August, we don't have the September swarm in it. It was 596. That's absolutely above average. And if we add September, it's like way beyond that. So there has also been not only an increase in earthquakes, but also changes in the depth of the earthquakes. We have seen more deeper earthquakes. I've shown you the picture. It looks like a straw that's leading up. If you look at the depth of these earthquakes, so deeper than four kilometers. What does that mean if the earthquakes are deeper? This also can be interpreted as an indication of magma accumulation. So guys, this was my update. I will keep you updated if there's further developments, guys. But check out the videos in the end screen. Crazy stuff. Oregon is having an earthquake swarm 5.8. We just had another 5.1 at the Cascadia subduction zone, also too close to the San Andreas Fault. Not a good location. Check out the video in the end screen. I see you there. If you want to support the channel, guys, check the link in the description. Buy me a coffee, fill me up. I already had one today, it's empty. So thank you so much for supporting this channel. You guys are awesome. I see you in the next one. You just have to click here. Bye-bye.